So the question I always get asked is, what wallet should I store my cryptocurrency? It's very a broad question. There's all different types of wallets when it comes to the crypto space. There's the hot wallets, then there's the cold wallets, then there's the offline wallets, and then there's the paper wallets. On this video, I'm gonna talk to you about TronLink. Now, TronLink is actually made for the Tron network. We're gonna definitely discuss with you what type of cryptocurrencies, coins, tokens, can you store on the TronLink wallet? We're gonna explain to you also how to set up the TronLink and we're gonna make sure that you're all set up so that way you can use this wallet to actually grow your cryptocurrency portfolio. Welcome back. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure that you click the like button, subscribe, and then also make sure you click that bell so that way you get notified every single time we update a video. Uh, our goal as a community is to provide you all the resources, the information to empower you so that you can feel confident getting into the cryptocurrency space. So let's get right into it. Uh, today we're gonna talk about TronLink and uh, it's gonna be a very short video. Uh, I'm gonna go over just an idea of what TronLink is and of course things that you should look out for uh, when you're sending cryptocurrencies to this wallet and uh, what TronLink is it's a cold wallet i actually just pulled this up so that way you can actually read what uh, TronLink is i'll go and read it out to you on cold wallets cold wallets or offline wallets are wallets that are not connected to the internet hot wallets or online wallets are wallets that remain connected to the internet Though not as user-friendly as hot wallets, cold wallets are safer in that it's always offline and thus immune to hackers' attempt to steal private keys. So this is very powerful, you guys, because uh, you know many of you guys have probably used wallets that are stored on exchanges like Coinbase or Binance or Bittrex, and those are great. It's, uh, it's more convenient because you have access to all these different cryptocurrencies that you wanna be able to trade because the wallet is connected in those centralized exchanges, but it's always safe to be able to store your cryptocurrencies, your tokens in a cold wallet so that way people don't have access to stealing your funds. So TronLink is actually a wallet that's built for the Tron network. And what's great about this is that uh, it allows you to have the opportunity to swap different cryptocurrencies within the network. So I'm going to show you how that looks like. But you can actually go to tronlink.org and you can actually download it for Android, iOS, or do the Chrome extension. And uh, it's actually very easy. So since I'm already on the MacBook, I can show you what the Chrome extension looks like. You simply click on this. Uh, once you're done downloading, it's going to pop up on the top right here, like for me you would click on extensions and then this would pop up. So once you actually have it popped up, to set it up is actually quite simple. Uh, let me just go and walk you through so you have a big, so you have a clear idea how it works. So the first thing you wanna do is set uh, a new account name. Now, if this is your first time setting up any, setting up any wallet, uh, think of setting up a name as if it's the name to your checking account. You can have as many checking accounts as you want through your bank uh, but the reason why you name your checking account is to be able to identify that specific uh, checking account. So this, give it a name. It's not very important, but it allows you to be able to identify this as its own individual wallet. So to make it really simple, for the example, I'm going to call it Wallet 001. Okay, so I'm going to click on Continue. Now once you're done, it's going to prompt you to the mnemonic words now this is very important in the fact that you don't want to take a screenshot you want to make sure that you write this down because this will give you access to your wallet just in case if something ever happens you lose your wallet you forget your password you're able to actually re-download your wallet enter the mnemonic password and you're able to actually access your funds again uh, if you wanted to be able to actually transfer your funds or sync to a different app. For example, there's different wallets out, out there such as Clever Wallet or Token Pocket. You can take your 12 word mnemonic 
and transfer it over to the other wallets and have it sync to the other wallets for different preference. Maybe you actually like the interface on Clever more or you like the interface on, on Token Pocket as a wallet. But this is very important. Now, the, the, the thing is though, don't give this to anybody. Don't misplace it because once you lose this, you don't have access to it no more. Someone can actually steal every single uh, bit of cryptocurrency through this wallet if you give it away. So don't take a screenshot. You wanna make sure you write it down before you proceed. Now, I just finished writing it down and I'm gonna go ahead and press continue. And at this point, if you're doing it either on your PC, your MacBook, or your iMac, or your phone, it's going to quiz you to make sure that you actually wrote it down correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually, it's asking me to put down all 12 words in the correct order. So I'm gonna go and do that right now. Okay, now that I'm done, I'm gonna press confirm. And here I am, I'm in my new wallet. So as you can see here, this uh, gives me a, a, a nice simple interface. If you're new uh, to the cryptocurrency space, this looks like overwhelming for you, but it's actually quite simple. Uh, let me give you a quick walkthrough. Uh, this button right here uh, is the receive button, so you can click on it and it actually gives you your address. So anytime someone wants to send you uh, Tron or USDT, TRC20, I'll go over the list of different tokens or cryptocurrency that can be sent to this wallet, but you can literally click on copy account and you wanna paste it to whoever that you wanna send it to. Don't type this out, never type out a wallet address. You always wanna click the word copy account, send it over to them so that way they have it exactly written out the way it is. Uh, whenever you want to send cryptocurrency, you want to click on send and your account is already right here. You can pick different accounts that you have here. But in this in this example, uh, I'm already defaulted on the wall I just created. And then you want to paste the address of whoever that you want to send it to. So make sure that you copy and paste it here, whoever that is going to receive it. Pick the token that you want to send out and then type out the total that you want to send out, the amount in the balance available. So in this example, I don't have any uh, in my balance, but there's also a fee. So whatever you write out, don't forget that you also need to have available TRX available to cover the blockchain fees. You can add transfer notes if you like for memory purposes and then click send. But let's talk about different type of tokens or cryptocurrency that you can actually store in here. Now, Tron Link is designed for the Tron network. What does that mean? That means that there's only a few specific uh, types of tokens or cryptocurrencies, coins that, that are compatible to be stored in this network or chain, okay? So the different ones that you actually can see is if you press this plus sign, it gives you a list of all the different types of crypto that can actually be stored here. So you, you can see the most popular is USDT, but the USDT that can be sent here, that can be stored is USDT TRC20. So whoever that, if you're ever accepting USDT, make sure that it's TRC20, which is compatible to the Tron network, not ERC20 because ERC-20 is built for the Ethereum network. And then BTT, which is, which is BitTorrent, JST, Win, KLV, Sun. These are just a few of the tokens that are available that can be sent here. Notice that it doesn't say Bitcoin. Notice that it doesn't say Ethereum because those are completely different networks. Tron Link is specifically made for the Tron network. So very important because if you send Bitcoin to this wallet, be aware that you will lose your Bitcoin if you send it here, okay? I've made that mistake before and I will never make that mistake again. So now let's do this. Let me give you a quick idea of what to do or how to set this up on your phone. To get it set up on your phone, it's actually quite simple. Depending on your phone, whether it's an Android or it's an iOS, Go ahead and actually go to your app or Google Play Store. 
And so for me, I'm gonna go ahead and actually search for that on App Store. And you wanna go and search for Tron Link. Now you'll find uh, Tron Link or Tron Link Pro. They're both the same, so not a problem. So just go and click on open or download it. And then once you're done, open it. So now that you actually downloaded it, uh, you can actually uh, click on create account if you wanna create a new wallet. But in this example, because we went ahead and actually already created an account on the desktop or the MacBook or laptop, you're gonna click on import account. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and actually import the one we just created, okay? So in this example, we're gonna import it. We're gonna do 12 word mnemonic, so click on that. And it's gonna say HD wallet, or it's gonna say non HD wallet. We wanna click on HD wallet. And here you wanna type your 12 word mnemonic. Remember what I told you earlier, make sure you don't give it anybody because they can do what I'm about to share with you and actually transfer all your data over to their phone and steal all your, all your cryptocurrency that's in here. So let me go ahead and actually uh, type it out. And once you know you did it correctly when it says next step and it's highlighted blue. I'm gonna click on that. And it's gonna prompt you to set a name. Now I know you you. Uh, now I know we went ahead and created a name earlier. You can call it whatever you want. And for the sake of uh, for memory, I'm gonna call it Wallet 001, just like I did earlier. Next step, it's gonna ask me to enter a password. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a password for myself. Make sure you put down one uppercase, one lowercase, one number, and at least eight characters. For it to go through so you can actually guide yourself when it actually shows all green you can click on next step and then it's going to confirm for you enter the password again now i just want to say one more thing make sure you write your password down it's very important that you actually don't lose this this gives you access to be able to enter uh into your wallet now let's just say you did forget your password don't worry about it you as long as you wrote down your 12 word mnemonic you can delete Tron link and then you can import your wallet again with your 12 word and you can restore all of your information and change your password again. OK, so that's a quick tip just in case if, if you ever forget your password, as long as you didn't forget your 12 word mnemonic, you will always have access to your wallet and re and change your password if you forgot it. So I'm going to click on confirm. And we're in. OK, so. I love using the phone, it's very convenient. Uh, just give you a couple more quick walkthroughs real quick. Uh, one of the things that I also really like is the word freeze or unfreeze right here. Freeze gives you priority. And when you actually uh, freeze TRX, uh, let's say for example, you freeze like 20 TRX, it's kind of like the carpool lane or it's like a it's like the, the fast lane, if you will. It just makes your transaction become a priority. So there's a lot of different uh, transactions that's happening in the Tron network. If you wanna make sure that you have priority or actually have first in line, if you will, then freeze like 20 TRX, 40 TRX, and it's just gonna hold it for a small small uh, window, like 72 hours or so. And then after you're done, you know whatever that transaction you're doing, it's gonna go ahead and actually redeposit your TRX back into your wallet as if it's never left. Another thing that you might wanna know is swapping. So some of you uh, might be in some projects or you're actually wanting to buy something through your Tron Link wallet. So, and you might need to buy it with USDT TRC20. So um, you would need TRX in here and you can click on swap. And when you click on swap, it actually allows you to actually swap a certain amount of TRX to USDT, okay? And you can actually swap to any of the tokens that it's actually compatible to the Tron network. Again, just uh, very simple. And by the way, every time you do any type of swapping, there is a small amount of fees. So make sure you have uh, TRX or uh, USDT, depending on what you're swapping available. It's a small amount. So that way you can actually swap to other tokens. Okay, so a few other things before we wrap things up. Uh, some of you, uh, if you actually download your Tron link and then you've installed it, you might not see all the tokens here. Don't forget, you can always click add assets and then you can actually search for the asset you want. Let's say you wanna transfer win token in here. You simply can actually search for win like I just did 
and then you click on the plus sign and then once you're done click cancel back and it's gonna appear right there because some of you maybe maybe have sent uh, you know certain tokens in here and it's not appearing you're scared but you always double check that you clicked on add assets so that way it it appears on your main menu and so guys that kind of gives you a quick idea don't forget on the bottom there is browser some of you might see the word discover in here this gives you dap ability meaning you can actually access different websites so that you can actually do DeFi projects you'll learn more about DeFi on some of my other videos later on but this is actually a a very sophisticated wallet I love it I use it every single day to actually do uh, different types of transactions or projects on here so hopefully this video helps uh, again click the like the subscribe button and then of course click on the bell for notifications every time we upload a video and again very excited that you're actually part of this cryptocurrency journey with myself so with that thank you so much talk to you guys soon